Having been thrown into this new world that we knew nothing about, we made sure to take full advantage of every opportunity we could. Not believe that we're just allowed to get so close to the president and him. With only one week on the clock, there was a lot to explore. After getting our feet wet in Tashkent and Kiva, we finally started our journey on the historical Silk Road of Uzbekistan. All right, so we just landed in Bukhara. We're just getting set up in our hotel and they have a huge band waiting for us. I think they're playing the same song when we landed in Kiva. I don't know, but I love it. Their outfits and everything is so amazing. We're gonna drop our bags. We're gonna go adventure the city like we did before and we're gonna start snapping some photos. We're just carrying Bond with them. We are in Bukhara. We haven't been here for more than like 30 minutes, but we have had the nice warm uh, welcome that we get at every location. This is really cool, except this time instead of just music, they also had a feat of strength by a couple of dudes and it was awesome. This place in particular is, well A, it's one of the oldest cities in the world. It also, this is where you want to be for items, goods, commodities. This is where we're shopping. They have, this is like the merchant hub of like the Silk Road, Bukhara. And we are here now, and we've got about 24 hours. Let's go! Bukhara, one of the top five largest cities in Uzbekistan, located right along the Silk Road. Here is a place where we were welcomed with open arms and completely immersed in the ancient cultures of Uzbekistan. That's the look. It's a look. We set out on foot to explore the old town of Bukhara, check out some markets, and even venture into the old mosques that are still active within the square. After spending the afternoon running around and exploring in 35 degree weather, we headed out to meet the rest of the team to experience what Bukhara nightlife really has to offer. After a night of drinking and dancing, that 5 a.m. wake-up call came a lot quicker than we would have liked. But we had a heck of a sunrise to see today, and we had towers to climb before we could see it. Yo, Benny boy, come on up through the ceiling. We're going to the open air roof. big fan of this. I don't think ever in our lives have we been up on something so high and open with a view of so much stuff that we've never seen before. That is the weirdest sentence ever, but this is really cool. Parker's first fresh fig experience. It's kind of like a pump. With just under 24 hours in Bukhara, it's time to head to the next destination, Samarkand.
All right, we are at the train station. We are about to board a train. I think it's about two hours to Shakara. Samarkand. We're at the train station. We're about to hop in a train. It's going to be two hours to Samarkand. Samarkand? Samarkand? Samarkand. We headed off to the train station where we caught a train to Samarkand and we're very excited to get, hopefully, up to one hour of rest. Much needed rest. Um, they're a little bit rough. I mean, one of them hurt my wrist. They were squeezing it a bit tight, but all in all, they set me free. They're very nice, very forgiving. <laughs> kind of cute, too. Welcome to Samarkand. Do it. Let's do it. Okay, bear with me. I just memorized a whole bunch of information in a short period of time. I'm going to try to spit it out at you right now. We are at Registan Square in Samarkand, and we are at the official opening ceremony of the 12th international music festival known as Shark Tarona Lari, which means music of the East. It is just getting started now. We are a very special VIP. A lot of dudes with ties and suits here. It's kind of cool. And word on the street is President's going to show up shortly, and I really hope we get to meet him. So, see what happens but uh, I think the music stops, so we should probably start paying attention. All right, so we're just gathered here right now. The president's gonna show up in about 10 minutes, but beforehand, uh, his wife and their son just came and just gave us a beautiful speech, thanking us for coming. And she's also the deputy minister of information and communication here, and she's just a wonderful person. We got to show her um, the drone footage in the tower hike we did this morning. Uh, in Bukhara and she was amazed. She's never been up there before. She didn't even know you could get up there and her son actually follows high in life and everything so it's just a really special moment to meet both of them and show them something that they were really excited to see and in their own country as well. So really cool moment right there. So Miramon, if you're watching, this one's for you, buddy. This event has representatives of 110 countries and takes months of planning and practice. The production was of a world scale event and even with the modern lighting and amplified music, you still couldn't help but feel transported back to an earlier time while witnessing the sights and sounds of this rich cultural square like they have done for thousands of years. It was clear this event was of great importance to the country of Uzbekistan. Even the president was scheduled to give an opening speech. But witnessing it firsthand was even more surreal. All right, what is going on, everybody? It is another 5.40 a.m. morning. I think we've done three in a row now, and we're here back at the place where the concert last night. It's called Shador Madrasa. Um, we've got a whole bunch of people from the influencer group. The problem is, is this Mr. Officer here ain't letting us in. I get it, there's lots of instruments and stuff set up here and I wouldn't let people in either, but we've got a couple of people working on it. Hopefully we can get in and snap some shots and get that creamy crop, good stuff before 9 a.m. before all the crowds get here. What do you think, Ben, success? Dude, this place is amazing. Yeah, incredible. The fact that we got to see the performance last night and then come back and like walk on the exact stage that we saw that performance at. We spent the day exploring the different mausoleums and observatories in Samarkand before getting together for lunch. Several members of our group wanted to recognize one of the men responsible for putting this whole event together, so at lunch, we organized a little something special for him. Thank you, Becruz, and everyone else involved with putting together the World Influencers Congress. Always gotta go and stay out of your comfort zone and say yes. Yeah! Bear Cruz is an absolute legend. And he will go out in history as the person that brought us all together 
and potentially change the landscape of Uzbekistan for the better, so very exciting. Then we hopped on another train back to Tashkent, which was exciting because we didn't get to explore much of the city on our first day in Uzbekistan. If you haven't watched the video, check it out here. After a busy week in Uzbekistan, we were overjoyed to be back at our first hotel with no major plans left on the docket, except to eat and sleep. The time had come for our final dinner as a group. We all hung out and reminisced about the busy week we had together. There was even a fun little awards ceremony at the end. With all the amazing travel creators present, we were shocked and humbled to be recognized as one of the top travel channels at the Congress. So with that, we're going to go. Best travel channel influencer is... Ireland! For our last day in Uzbekistan, we needed to make sure we gave ourselves enough time to fully check out the markets. You can easily get to the markets by cab, or what we would recommend, the metro system. The architecture at each station is magnificent and unique. If you have the time, ride the train a bit more than necessary and check it all out. The Chorsu markets were indeed a must-see. It took hours to get around the whole place. Okay, so right now we are checking out a lot of cool tea sets because that's kind of a big thing that they do here. Coffee's not as big in Uzbekistan as tea, not by a long shot. However, they take their tea quite seriously. It's got the most delightful blend of tea. I don't know everything that's in there, but there is saffron in there. I'm excited for it, and I'm really hoping I will get it home in one piece. First stop, a quick food tour with Mikey Chen, also known as Strictly Dumpling. With our boy, Mikey Chen, the food master. Happy Wednesday, everybody. We are here with our new friends, Ashley and Andrew. After satisfying our hunger, we spent the last of our money on various trinkets and souvenirs. One week in Uzbekistan was not enough time to see the whole country. But we embraced every opportunity in front of us. Gotcha. Describe Uzbekistan in one word. Mystical. Colorful. Unique. Ancient. Honest. Extraordinary. Enchanting. Historical. Epic. Majestic. Flop. Ronas. Unique. Welcoming. Tranquility. Culture, dude. Amazing. Exhausted but fulfilled, we left the country feeling accomplished and grateful for having the chance to explore the history that this part of the world has to offer. Now, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like, hit subscribe, share with your friends, hit the notification bell that I think is up in the corner that way so you get notified every time we post a new video. And happy travels, my friends. Love you all.